I moved to Japan. channel oh my god it's been a long time first of all I got a new camera so I'm not sure if it is focusing right now I hope so as you can see on the title yes I moved to Japan it may be surprising but I'm gonna update you by the end of this video I am currently at a hotel yeah I'm really excited I landed yesterday I haven't slept for 29 hours. When I came here, I was so tired, I immediately slept and surprisingly, I only slept 6 hours and I woke up at 3 a.m. Yeah, I'm super tired right now, but I'm ready to start my day and I will go get some breakfast because I'm so hungry. So let's go. So I got this drink yesterday from 7-Eleven and I thought I'm gonna drink it for breakfast <laughs> before I go out. I think it's Sakura Latte, yep. Ichigo. Oh, it's Strawberry Sakura Latte. This is so delicious and it's from the convenience store so I don't know how fresh onigiri tastes. at the yogi park right now and I'm gonna take a little break. I walked the whole day pretty much and it's been only... I already did more than 10,000 steps. <laughs> I'm gonna eat my natto roll. It's pretty much with rice and seaweed like onigiri and with natto. Jet lag is hitting really hard. I want to go to the hotel and take a nap because maybe then I can sleep at night and I need to get like a proper sleep schedule here. <laughs> but um, coffee from 7 Eleven and then as soon as I bought coffee from there, I seen so many cute cafes and I was like, why did I bought coffee from 7 Eleven? It was good, but like when you see cute cafes, I would rather buy coffee from there because they are specialized in coffee, if you know what I mean. I was walking and then I saw a takoyaki shop, so I had to grab takoyaki, of course. I've been walking from Shibuya to Omote Sando to Harajuku and now I'm at the Yogi Park, so I've been walking and walking, going to shops when I see them. 
and fighting my tiredness. <laughs> I'm back at the hotel. I wanted to show you what I got. So this is a little haul. <laughs> I put everything in this bag. So I won't buy too many bags if you know what I mean. <laughs> so the first thing is I bought an adapter. I needed an adapter for USB-C um, cables for my phone and Apple Watch and everything. My laptop for everything. Then I went to Daiso, got this hair clip. Oh, from GU, I got this turtleneck because it was so cold. Then I went to um, Uniqlo. I got some socks because I seriously only have two pair of socks. Don't ask me why. <laughs> Then I got this shirt, it's a normal shirt, tank top. And this bag, this, this is the most popular bag. I see it everywhere, it's this one. I usually have this one, but it's smaller. And this one, it uh, fits more things. Then I went to a drugstore, I guess. I don't know, drugstores confuse me in Japan. Sometimes I don't know if it's a drugstore or another store that sells makeup it's really confusing it's not like in germany or in the usa you know like brand names of drugstores but like in japan i don't know any anyways i got this eyeshadow duo with glitter it's so pretty i love glitter that's why i got this then i got a eyeliner where is it i can't find it but this is the package. It's just a simple brown eyeliner. Oh, and from Daiso I also got these um, hair razors. Yeah, that's it. So I didn't get that much, I think. <laughs> now <laughs> on the day where i went to family mart and i got dinner i went home and i straight up fell asleep <laughs> i didn't even eat my dinner so that's why i didn't make an update so as i promised in the beginning of this video i want to tell you why i'm here and everything for the people who are interested first of all as you can see on the title i quit uni yes but I would not recommend anyone to quit uni. Just saying that. In Japan, if you need a job, they really, really look in a bachelor's degree. This is how it works here. If you don't have a bachelor's degree, it will be really difficult to get a job, especially to get a job and stay here with a visa sponsorship. That being said, why did I quit uni? It's because I already have a bachelor's degree. I studied interior design back in 2015, so I didn't really need to keep studying Japanese studies to come to Japan. The thing is, I started um, studying Japanese studies to learn Japanese and I thought that it might be my ticket to go to Japan. I really wanted to do an exchange year with the uni. I applied for it in summer, but I got declined. And I have a friend who already was in Japan with the working holiday visa. So I decided that I'm gonna quit uni and I will come with the working holiday visa, which I'm currently here in. 
Where have I been? So I didn't post any video I think for six months. I'm not sure. It's because when I applied uh, for the exchange year in August and I was declined in August, on that day I decided that I want to go to Japan with a working holiday visa. So I got two jobs. I worked from Monday to Sunday every day for the whole six months and I saved up so much money that I could. The thing is when you have a working holiday visa it depends on where you are from but you need like for me in my case I needed 4000 uh, euro on my bank account and like that's the only requirement when it comes to money. Also, when you come to Japan, you are permitted to work, so you can work and then earn money, but I'm like, I have anxiety, okay? I didn't want to come here and end up not having a job maybe, or like worst case scenario, don't have money. That's why I wanted to save up even more than that and I wanted to save up as much money as I can. And that's why I didn't have any time or energy to film a video. I mean, working from Monday to Sunday was really tough. In December I was sick. If you saw my last video, the what I eat in a week in Paris video, it's because I went there for five days to get my working holiday visa. Since I have a French passport but I live in Germany, I had to go to Paris to apply for the working holiday visa. That was bad but it was the only days that I took off just to get it. Otherwise I worked every day. I worked on Christmas, I worked on Sylvester, I worked really every day. Also in Germany when you work Sundays and when you work on, on Christmas, on every other holidays, you get like bon bonus um, bonus money? I don't know how it's called in English, but yeah, so I really wanted to work on those days to get extra money. Like, it's amazing in Germany <laughs> when you work on those days. I'm currently at a hotel for the next two weeks and then I can finally go to my apartment at the moment I really feel like a tourist to be honest. I'm only a week here obviously but yeah I hope that when I get my apartment that I will feel more homey I guess. Like as homey as it can get. <laughs> I really hope that you like this video and that you will like my next videos. I plan so many things when I will move in my apartment, I will film everything, I will uh, make a room makeover and like I'm really excited for this. So yeah, I hope like that you enjoy this video and yeah, if you want to see what's up in my future, please subscribe to my channel and give it a like and I hope I see you next time. Bye!